What's up, Ball State? We are back with another episode of Chirp Central, presented by Victory Honda of Muncie. I'm Peyton Manel. Ball State men's basketball is off to a hot start in MAC play with a 4-1 record. Tajay Teague also earned his fourth MAC West Player of the Week. Matt Shevs etched his name into Ball State history as he now owns the all-time service ace record. He now has 112 career aces heading into tonight's matchup with 12th ranked George Mason. After defeating Xavier last week, men's tennis hits the road for a doubleheader Saturday at Michigan State. They take on the Spartans and Niagara University. Women's basketball found its way back into the win column Wednesday night with a victory over Buffalo. Here's a look back at the action. Were you in Worthen Arena Wednesday night for Ball State men's basketball? If so, you saw the latest SportsLink creative intro video featuring local Muncie artist Leon Crosby. Here's a sneak peek of the video led by junior Zach Roy. There's a sacred and hallowed ground in every Indiana community where a ball and a court meet a hoop and a dream. A place where generations come to inspire and the next learn to believe. In our community, basketball is an art, always on display, always being created. Brushstrokes are a way of life. Maritza Rodriguez has been a cross-country star during her time at Ball State, posting a career-best 21 minutes on her final 6K run at the NCAA Great Lakes Regional. To find her love for running, she endured a path less traveled. I went from running um, on my free time to running in my high school team. The like, cross country team would be a good fit for me. You know, running was the thing that made me feel the most me. It was perfect. Like I had an amazing team, amazing coaches, and I generally just found like happiness there. The gymnastics team had their first meet of the season at Iowa over the weekend. Here's a look at this year's team in action, produced by Cena Garivey. You guys have trained, you guys are prepared. When we go out there and we hit, you guys are going to be successful. I need, I bring. What do you need, what do you bring? Make sure you're bringing it. And you walk in with your heads held high and with your attitude like this is your house. Be there for each other, that's what it's going to be about. Ball State tennis legend Bill Richards got his 700th victory last week. Let's check in with Coach following his 700th win. It's been an amazing run. Um, feel you know, very, very blessed that um, you know I've been doing this for so long, and I'm still able to do you know what I love. And so I just feel very grateful to a lot of people for. Um, helping me through all these years, you know, this isn't this isn't a one-man um, deal. I mean, there's a lot of people that have uh, contributed to the success of this program, and um, again, I just feel very fortunate to to still be able to do this. The Cardinals are on the road Saturday at Cincinnati before an 11:30 a.m. contest with Xavier in Worthen Arena next Wednesday. Women's Volleyball is at home for the final two matches of the regular season this weekend and MAC tournament seating on the line. Anna Jensen and Marie Plitt know how important this weekend is. This weekend is super uh, important to me because it is my senior weekend and I just am super excited to get to play um, in the Worthen Arena uh, one more time. Especially with this team, it's just like an exciting moment um, to get to play one more time in front of the crowd. Senior um, night on Saturday, so it's very special to everyone. 
um, especially the seniors, so we just kind of want to have a good weekend for them. The mindset's different because the MAC tournament is like right there, like we're within reach of it. Um, so we're just like super preparing not only for this weekend, but also to peak as a team right before we go into the MAC tournament. So we've been focused all year long and working hard, but now that switch is just like turned on and we're ready to go for the rest of the time. Um, we really haven't changed much of our process um, because we want to continue to be the same team all year round, um, but just like a little bit more focus and just a little bit more drive and energy, I would say, has been in practice so far this week just because we are super excited and ready um, to play this weekend and in the MAC tournament. And a reminder, you can watch Friday's match live on ESPN Plus, produced by the students in Ball State Sports Link. Ball State men's basketball is in the midst of a three-game road trip after Wednesday's game at Illinois Chicago. But when the team returns to Muncie next week, you'll see the latest sports and creative intro video with the team. Here's a sneak peek. So today, pretty much, me and my teammates and my little bro, we painted, uh, wrote our initials. I have a little bro Montana with me. Then he probably he think he the best painter right now. So <laughs> Montana Da Vinci. <laughs> Today, me and the team, we showed up around 7 o'clock, 7.30 um, to a great, it looks like a great musical theater, art theater, and we met a guy named Leon, and he had created a mural for us to paint, and so we just contributed as a team to try to come and paint as much as we can, and, you know, and show love for him doing what he did. Great to have the basketball team here. They were a lot of fun. Uh, it's cool to see their camaraderie uh, all kind of coming together on one thing and putting all their initials up at the top here. So I'm, right now I'm highlighting their initials and making you know, really making their initials pop. The NBA All-Star Game this past weekend had a different twist to the end of the game thanks to Ball State faculty member Nick Elam. President Mern showed his support of Elam with this tweet. Do not miss an exclusive SportsLink feature on Elam coming soon. The gymnastics team had a busy weekend this past week as they competed in both Georgia and at home on Sunday. The cards broke a school record with a 195.750 team score on Sunday and our own Cena Grivey captured an exciting meet on Friday in Georgia. Women's basketball currently holds a top four seed in the Mid-American Conference standings and head coach Brady Sally stresses the importance of leaving a mark in February. I've always talked to my teams about, you know, January basketball is for positioning and then you go win in February. So, you know, when you're in a conference grind, you've got to have a good January to position yourself to then go be able to really think about playing for championships. I think our players understand the grind. They wrap their arms around it, and I think they've kind of taken pride in how tough they are and that they can go win on the road. They can win tough games at home, um, whether it's middle of February, end of February, and hopefully beginning of March. And as we close the show, here are our four players to watch this week. We start with softball and senior Janae Hogg, who comes into this season fifth in Ball State history with 29 home runs and two RBIs away from 100 in her career. On the court, junior Quinn Isaacson picked up 65 assists last weekend and leads the Cardinals into action for two matches this week. Staying on the hardwood, sophomore Telma DeSaga's daughter picked up 14 points and four offensive rebounds in the win over Western Michigan. August daughter is averaging nine and a half points per game in MAC play this season. Men's tennis freshman Paris Simmons won in straight sets versus Eastern Illinois and won in doubles to lead the Cardinals to a six to one victory. That's going to do it for us from Studio B. From all of us at Ball State Sports Link and our friends at Victory Honda of Muncie, we cannot wait to see you next week. Chirp, chirp.